Introduction to Excel 2007 You are all very welcome to this tutorial on Microsoft Excel 2007. This tutorial is designed to lead you step by step through all the tasks you are most likely to perform in Microsoft Excel 2007. This tutorial is a roadmap to become a power user in Excel 2007 or as handy reference to be called upon when required. If you kickstart from the beginning and work your way through all the exercises, you will gain enough proficiency to be able to create and work with all the common types of Excel documents. Excel is the world's most widely used spreadsheet program and is part of the Microsoft Office suite. Other spreadsheet programs are available, but Excel is by far the most popular and has become the world standard. So what is Microsoft Excel? Excel is a spreadsheet program you can use to organize, analyze, and attractively present data, such as a budget or sales report. Whilst learning Excel, you will come across a term called spreadsheet more often. So what is meant by a spreadsheet? A spreadsheet is a computer program that presents data, such as numbers and text, in a grid of rows and columns. Why do we need Excel? Excel is one of the powerhouses in the Microsoft Office family. Excel specializes in letting you create, edit, and analyze data that's organized into lists or tables. Here are just a few of the uses for Excel. Number crunching, create budgets, analyze survey results, and perform just about any type of financial analysis you can think of. Creating charts, create a wide variety of highly customizable charts. Organizing lists, use the row and column layout to store lists efficiently. Accessing other data, import data from a wide variety of sources. Creating graphics and diagrams. Use shapes and the new smart art to create professional looking diagrams. Automating complex tasks. Perform a tedious task with a single mouse click with Excel's macro capabilities. Opening Excel 2007 for the first time. Now let us see how to open Microsoft Office Excel 2007. Here are the steps to do so. Go to the Start button and in that select All Programs. This displays a list of programs in your system. In the Program list select Microsoft Office which shows you the Office applications. In that list click on Microsoft Office Excel 2007. Doing that the program gives you an empty Excel spreadsheet to work in. If you're eager to put words to page then type away. Creating a basic worksheet. A worksheet is the grid of cells where you type your information and formulas. This grid is the most important part of the Excel window. It's where you'll perform all your work, such as entering data, writing formulas, and reviewing the results. Here are a few basics about Excel's grid. The grid divides your worksheet into rows and columns. The smallest unit in your worksheet is the cell. Cells are identified by columns and rows. Incidentally, an Excel cell can hold up to 32,000 characters. A worksheet can span an eye-popping 16,000 columns and 1 million rows. Every spreadsheet file can hold a virtually unlimited number of worksheets. When you enter information, you enter it one cell at a time. However, you do not have to follow any set order. Starting a new workbook. When you fire up Excel, it opens a fresh workbook file. If you've already got Excel open and you want to create another workbook, then follow these steps. Select the Office button. In that, click on New. Doing that opens up the workbook window. In that window, select the blank workbook and click on Create button. A new workbook now opens with the name as Book 2.